Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a great start to your Thursday. John Ball Zoo is, of course, getting in on the Halloween spirit starting this weekend with Zoo Goes Boo. And to tell us what exactly we can expect to see at the zoo, we are now being joined by Mariah Malone. She is the events coordinator at John Ball Zoo. Mariah, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, obviously, uh, a lot of people get excited for this time of year as the zoo kind of transforms to get a little spooky. How exactly is the John, uh, is John Ball Zoo getting into the spirit with the decorations? What, could, what are some of the things people can expect to see along some of the habitats and other exhibits? Yeah, so we actually go through the zoo and we decorate it with different things. Like we do different scenes in different areas. So when you first walk in, you're going to see a graveyard with really large skeletons and Jack Skellington. And then you can go through natural treasures, which is our snakes and reptiles. And you'll be able to see like the haunted mansion. And we have a witch scene up in the forest realm. So there's a lot of different things for you to be able to see. Mm -hmm. And Mariah, another thing that I really do like about events like this at the zoo is, of course, all the different activities. I, you know, obviously, you could go out, see all the animals and everything, but there are a lot of different events and activities that the zoo is hosting throughout the rest of the month to get people starting to feel like it is Halloween, get them into the spooky spirit. What are some of those events that you guys will be hosting that you know people of all ages can really take part in? Yeah, so the main draw of Zoo Goes Boo is that it's a trick-or-treat, family-friendly section of just the neighborhood to be able to come and come trick-or-treat in a safe environment a fun environment and we call it kooky spooky and fun and we really do mean that and when people come in they'll be able to go to 13 different trick-or-treat booth stations we even have an allergy friendly booth this year and you'll be able to collect tokens along the way so you don't get to miss out on the entire thing if you have allergies we have an option for you and we have so much entertainment joining us this year we have a fire performer, we have an Autobot, we have villains, we have um, jugglers, we have a magician, we have a lot of things that will be joining us and you can check it all out on our website which is jbzoo.org. Mm -hmm, absolutely, I know if I was a kid I'd be very excited to come on out, get free candy and also check out the zoo, it sounds like a great time. Um, and yes, and no, you made a great point that the full list of activities and everything people really need to know regarding their time at John Ball Zoo during Zoo Goes Boo can be found right now over on our website as well, woodtv.com. We've got links to John Ball Zoo's website there and everything else you need to know. Uh, Mariah, you know, uh, for people that are maybe planning their trip out there, what are some things that they should probably keep in mind as far as when they make their trip out there? You know, do they have to worry about paying extra? Do members get any uh, special benefits as well? You know, what are some of the things that they need to keep in mind as they head on out to uh, John Ball Zoo? Yeah, so we do have members discounts and you can come on out and stop on by. You actually get in for free as a member, so that's a pretty big discount. And then we do have tickets up and available on our website. That's again jbzoo.org and you can stop on by, be able to come trick or treat. And we have so many different things going on and you'll be able to see animals getting enrichment throughout the day and that means that they'll be getting pumpkins or they'll be getting other types of enrichment and it's just a fun extra activity so that way we get to tie the animals into the fun events as well and we highly highly recommend that you come in costume the staff's gonna get into it the kids are gonna get into it and adults are gonna get into it too and if you don't have one we have face painting available so no matter what you can make sure that you're going to all of your zoo goes boo needs <laughs> mm -hmm. absolutely and you know kind of wrapping up mariah you know we do appreciate you stopping by um the live desk this morning but kind of just we want to give you the final word and let really make your final plea out to people why should they think about or if they're maybe on edge why should they definitely come on out to john ball zoo throughout the rest of the month and see everything that john ball zoo really has to offer during zoo goes boo yeah so my favorite part of any event that takes place at john ball zoo is that all of those proceeds go back to the care and conservation of our animals for our mission, which is saving wildlife and wild places. And we try and tie in our animals into every activity that we're doing, which is why why we're doing this event, we're hosting it, is really this is all for our animals and it's all for our conservation and all of those goals. So even though you're coming out to have a really, really fun time, it's also got a great meaning behind it and we are going to blow your minds with all of the fun activities that we have going on. All right, 
Absolutely. Well, Mariah, thank you so much for stopping by. I do want to remind everybody watching that if you would like to learn a little bit more information regarding Zoo Goes Boo over at John Ball Zoo throughout the rest of this month, you can find everything you need to know right now over on our website, woodtv.com. Mariah, one last time, thank you so much for stopping by. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning in to this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.